and welcome to another episode of Whose Meat Is It Anyway? I'm your host, Renata, and today my guest is Jules from Aberdeen. So Jules, tell me, what have you brought with you today? I've bought a steak pie that I bought in a 24-hour petrol station. Hmm, looks like food, I guess. So Jules, for your chance to win our grand prize, tell me. Whose meat is it anyway? Well, it's a steak pie, so I've got to go with cow. Cow, well, it's a good guess. But there's only one way to find out. To the raw it left. So here's our pie, which obviously has meat inside. But how can we be sure what kind? Well, meat is made of proteins, and proteins can be break down into peptides. But what are peptides? So peptides is like an ID, which is different for each type of meat. We developed a method to transform this into this. So here is where the magic happens. This equipment is called liquid chromatography mass spectrometry. So here we can separate everything that is inside of a mixture and here we can detect our peptides to identify the meat. Why do we do this? Well, food crime is a big problem, costing consumers, business and government up to 2 billion pounds per year. Let's face it, if you don't know 100% sure what's in your food, it can be bad for the meat industry and for you. Meat eye code is faster than DNA analysis and we can identify multiple animals at the same time in a product. Okay, the Rowett Lab has done its work, so now it's time to see... Whose meat is it anyway? Cow juice, just as you thought. Oh, but wait, the wheels are still turning. Oh no, look, the meat I called has detected chicken as well. You are not a winner on this occasion, Jules, but have you enjoyed playing? Oh, I've still had a really great day. Well, folks, that's today's show, and this is fraud. And I think the Food Standards Agency will be very interested in our findings. See you next time on Whose Meat Is It Anyway?